Today I would like to read you the 26 story tree house. I will continue on with chapter 11. Well, I'm not sure, says Captain Wooden Hood, looking around the tree house. You've made yourself quite a place out of the pieces of my boat. I think my crew and I are going to be very happy, very happy indeed, especially when you three are as our slaves. Slaves, says Terry, but I thought you said if you, we let you in, nothing bad would happen to us. There are plenty of things worse than being a pirate slave. My lad, my lad, says Captain Woodenhead, there's having your head bitten off by a head fish that stinks like muddy old cheese. That's pretty bad. And then there's being swallowed but a huge fish that stinks like, like medial cheese that's not particularly pleasant either. Also, having your ship whacked in the storm and the pieces stolen by thieves isn't much fun either, in case you you were wondering. Worst thing, her, her captain yells one of the pirates. Look at this one. Come and have a swing with us. Captain Wood and his crew are standing at the edge of the deck, clinging to a wine. I swear by my ex wooden head that is mighty fine wine, says the captain. Then he turns back to us. You three stay here. I'm just going to have a quick swing and then I'll be back to tell you how things are going to be around here for from now on. The captain runs across the across and with a mighty leap joins his crew on the wine. They push off and go swing out wide from the tree house. Well, so far so good, I say. What are you talking about, says Terry. The pirates have taken uh, the, uh, over the tree house and we are back to being pirate slaves again. Yes, but not for long, I say. The first words was, was turn on lucky pirates. Ten unlucky pirates, ten unlucky pirates, three and no one, one fell off, and then there was nine. And look what's happening. Ten pirates, three and no one. See what I mean about nasty ones. Containing the truth. All we have to do is what? I have to admit, it does look pretty dangerous, says Terry. There are ten pirates on what is clearly only a nine pirate one. Well, it can't be that dangerous, says the jail as we watch them swing up towards the ice skating rink. Nobody's, nobody's fallen off yet. No, not yet, I, I say, crossing the fingers on both of my hands. But any moment now. There's a blood clotting screaming scream as one of the pirates loses his grip and goes plunging downwards. Yeah! We peer over the edge of the pirate shape, shape the hole in the ground below. You were right, says Harry, but what about the others? Well, they are at the ice 
skating rink, I say, which is la- exactly where the rum products they would be. Lion Lucky Pirates learning how to skate. If my cousin are crack any moment now, we should be hearing a loud crack. Crack. Like that, says Terry. Exactly like that, I say. I think we can safely let the rhyme take it from here. Now I'll keep pirates learning how to skate. One crack through the ice and then there were eight. Hey, unlucky pirates riding the machine boo co- Kevin. One got back hood up and then there were seven. Seven unlucky pirates making a rock and pirate mix. One got electric and then there were six. Six unlucky pirates doing a, s- a synchronized Five. One missed the swimming pool and then there were five. Five unlucky pirates eating ice cream gola. One got brain freeze and then there were four. Four unlucky pirates playing in the tree. One sat in the capsule and then there were three. Three young lucky pirates, each getting a tattoo. The ATM the function, and then there were two. Two unlucky pirates, mud fighting the sun. One got blacked out, baked out, and then there were one. That's amazing, Jesus. Everything's happened. Everything happened just like it does in the run. There's only one pirate, pirate left, says you. But unfortunately, it's the worst one, Captain Woodenhead. And here he comes. Don't panic, I say. There's still one more ver- worse. One lucky pirate with a cutlass and a gun. He Got lost in the maze of doom, and then there were none. Well, it's kind of right, says Tim. He's got a cutlass and a gun, but he's not lost in the maze of doom. He's not even in the maze of doom. Not, no, not yet, I say. But he soon will be. Let's go. Where, says Tim, into the maze of doom. But it's dangerous, sister. Look at the signs. Uh, are you crazy? Hard. Enter at own risk. Certain death ahead. I know what the signs say, but Captain Woodhead is even more dangerous. He's got a cutlass and a gun, remember? Oh yeah, good point, sister. Let's go.